Hey, what's up? Kobe Sharp, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading. Today, I'm going to be telling you about an amazing 2022 middle grade novel from John David Anderson, Riley's Ghost. I don't know about you, but my students are always intrigued and interested and curious about scary books. They want to read scary books, right? Like maybe it starts with The Notebook of Doom. Maybe it moves on to Goosebumps. Like they want to be scared, right? They're all into Stranger Things and all of that kind of stuff. And I, I don't do scary. Like why would you want to feel scared? I just don't understand. Uh, and, but this book, Riley's Ghost, it's kind of scary. Like it's, it's for me, it's pretty scary. Uh, but it's also like a beautiful middle grade story about this complex character that you are just dying to get to know more of and understand what's going on in her head and what's going on in her heart and just rooting for her and hoping for her and worried about her. Uh, Riley is a middle school student who is, um, doesn't have any friends. Uh, she had one friend and then her friend ditched her and it's, it's really sad. Uh, you kind of get a chance to uh, see where she's at now and then there's like some flashbacks where you get a chance to learn about her relationship with um, I believe it's in her name was Emily and uh, why what happened to their friendship and the book opens with her having to dissect a frog in science class which she still want to do it so she ends up getting a chance to do it with like these like virtual reality like thing you put your phone in glasses I don't know if I'm describing that very well um, but anyways this other kid like puts the frog up in her face and the, she just gets super upset and, she just, she just, middle school's rough for Riley. Um, and she finds herself after school being locked in the like science closet. Like she was after, sc after school, she wandered in, the, these mean girls um, with the assistance of her old friend, lock her and leave her in like the science closet. Uh, and like leave the school. And eventually she is able to get out of there like in a kind of a mysterious way. Um, and then she's trying to like leave, right, and go home. Her mom works late, so she's not like anyone notices she's not home yet. But she goes to like leave the school and, and she can't. So she goes to like another door and it's locked and she's trapped in the school. She can't figure it out. So she picks up like the, her phone uh, has like no coverage, I think, or it's dead, I think it has no service. And so she picks up like the school phone and calls like her mom, no answer, 911, no answer. It's like super, super mysterious. And then she starts hearing things from different places. And eventually through one of the frogs that was dissected, uh, she is, has become like a ghost of a child who died. And, but this child is not the child who is like keeping her locked in the school. That is another ghost. And the frog person ghost wants help from Riley to like, so he can like move on to the next part of his life. Then you learn about this other ghost and like their situation and their stories from when they were at the school. It's amazing. It's so good. Readers who love ghost stories, readers who just love middle grade characters that they can't get enough of. It's not like, like jump scare scary, but it's, it's just great. So Riley's Ghost, I highly recommend it. John David Anderson, you know he is one amazing writer, so you're going to want to read this one. Attitude to read list. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.